What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 20. Still working towards that rank one right now. You guys will see I am plowing this field to get you 5% Hasidious favor so I can uh, eventually start doing mess hall. Uh, one thing I forgot is that I have a lot of salt peter from doing Winter Todd, which will help me a lot for this. I think I need 800 total, and I know I do not have that much from Winter Todd. Uh, I actually don't remember how much, but I know it's not 800. I'm just hoping it's like 300 or 400 or something because uh, it would make this a lot easier. If you guys have done this before, mining the saltpeter is kind of a pain, even though it's pretty AFK. So I'm just going to continue doing this favor, and um, I'll see you guys once I start doing mess hall. I know a lot of you are curious on how to do it, even though there's a pretty decent amount of videos on it. If you guys go look, you can probably see it. But I'll be back once I finish getting this favor, and we can start getting some cooking levels. So I made all of these saltpeter that I needed to, or the fertilizer. Uh, hopefully this gets me to 45. It should. Nice. All right, let's go do mess hall, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do this pretty quickly. Um, I'm not really, it's not really a guide since this isn't meant to be a guide video, but basically what you're going to be doing here is making pineapple pizzas. I think I need to restart my client right now because this is lagging pretty badly. I do want to time this for an hour though to see how much XP I can get. But you basically just go between these and if you guys don't know how to make these, you just make dough, you add tomatoes to them, and then you add cheese to them. Um, you cook them and then you add pineapple to them. So there I have my pizzas made. One thing I did me forget to mention and forgot to do is you should have like a placeholder down here. Since you're doing 13 and 13, I had to keep dropping a bunch of extra stuff because it would give me like 14 instead. But once you guys get these pizzas, literally all you have to do is use it on the table. And you'll see you get almost a 5k XP drop. Once you do this, you hop worlds because it's going to take this. You'll see this goes down. Um, the appreciation, you see it just went down 0.5%. So what you want to do is hop worlds because the lower it goes down, the less XP you get. Um, I don't know how long it takes to reset, but I think if you hop between five or six worlds, um, by the time you get back to the starting world, it should be reset again. So that's how you do it, guys. I'm going to do this for an hour, and I'll be back after that hour's over to see just how much XP I can get. Obviously, it'll get better over time. I have done this before, though, so I should be able to get uh, the max XP on it. So it's been about an hour, and I managed to get almost 180k XP. Um, I did end up burning a lot of the pizzas. I completely forgot about burning them. Um, it was, wasn't really that much. It was maybe like five or six to make that big of a difference. So the XP should be a little bit more in the future when I stop burning those. But I did get up to 68 cooking, almost halfway to 69. I figured I'd show myself doing this in the background to make it more interesting than just standing there talking. Um, I was uh, ticking the pizzas on the stove doing this as well. Um, this XP is basically trying as hard as I could for an hour, so doing this casually, you're looking at probably about 150, 160k per hour. I'm not too sure when I'll be back with another update. I'm going to be doing this for the majority of the next few days. I think I'll be back once I hit 75. I think that's a decent uh, milestone to get to, so I'll be back once I hit 75. So this is some pretty freaking fast XP, guys. It's pretty consistent. There's 75 cooking. Um, I was thinking the whole time I was doing this, since there's nothing else to do, but spam click and think. Um, I don't want to go straight for 99 because I don't think I'd be able to make a lot of videos. I do want to post these every day. So I think what I'm going to be doing is actually just going for a bunch of total levels right now. I do want to try to get to top page as fast as I can because, uh, you know, the series is called Road to Rank 1. And I think being top page is kind of essential to that. You know, you, know, you don't want to have that in your title and be like rank 100 or 200 or something. So I'm actually going to go and get 13 runecrafting really quick so I can do the quest Eyes of Glaufrey, which will probably get me upwards of high 20s, I'd say, for runecrafting. So I'm just going to be making earth runes from 9 to 13. I already do have a earth talisman, so it shouldn't take too long. So that was pretty quick, took probably about four full trips. I know I can do the mage arena to get the mud rune, but I figured I'd just make it anyway since I already do have the uh, earth talisman. So now I'm going to go do eyes of Glaufrey and get myself to the high 20s for runecrafting. So a quick detour I did want to mention really quick. If you guys are looking to get talismans, I'd recommend you kill these guys. Um, they're the NPCs next to the guy you talk to during the fairy tale quest. They are south of Falador. Basically, they give a 1 in 20 chance of dropping the talismans. So, the fire wizard will drop, obviously, the fire talisman. Water will drop the water talisman. So, if you guys want a fire talisman for doing runecrafting, kill this guy because it's a 1 in 20 drop rate. And there is Eyes of Glaufrey done. Two quest points. Got a magic level, a construction level, and up to 25 runecrafting. Also, my total level went up a lot from that. I remember doing this quest when I was younger and struggling so much doing that uh, number puzzle. Thankfully, it's a lot easier now. I think what I'm going to be doing now is actually going and making fire runes. I do need to go and get the medium pouch first, and there is also something I do want to show you guys for that. It's a pretty cool trick. Um, I think a lot of people know about it, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot who don't as well. So if you guys go to the fairy ring and use the code ALR, you can basically get to the abyssal area, and basically what this is, is the same as the abyss. It has all the abyss monsters, um, except for it's not multi-combat. You know, you don't get scold, you don't have to go through the wilderness. 
and there's a spot down here which is really nice for getting pouches um, just run all the way over here to the corner and you'll see an abyssal leech basically you can spawn camp this um, it's gonna be harder for me because I don't have like the highest stats but um, if you have like max stats you can basically one hit spawn trap it you'll see it spawns right there um, if you get in a good spot you can basically sit here and just spam click the spawn and kill it when it spawns but uh, yeah this is a good way to get pouches guys especially on hardcore Iron Man because you don't have to risk anything but I'm gonna get this medium pouch uh, start doing some fire runes. I think I need to get to a certain level for another quest. I can't remember what it is. It's like 30 something. So I'm going to do some fire runes and I will be back. Hopefully once I get that level, I'm not too sure actually if I have enough pure essence or not. I might actually have to go get some more. But I do want to get my rune crafting up. So I'll be back then. Also really quick, I did want to mention that this is another good way to get talismans. I know I mentioned doing the fire wizards and air wizards and stuff. Um, but this is also a good way. I still think the other one's faster because these drops um, can take a while. But uh, this is the best way, I'd say, to get a nature talisman. So if you guys need a nature talisman, definitely do this. Like, as you can see, I already got two of them. It's been probably about four minutes. Sadly, the essence I have only got me to 30, which I just got. Uh, shout out to this guy. But I think what I'm going to be doing now is actually, you guys are going to hate me for this. I want to mine some S. Um, you can mine, I believe, 1,500 per hour. I need 1,200, so it won't even take me an hour. But before I do that, actually, and let me know, let me tell you guys first why I want to do that. I'm at 35. You can do the quest What Lies Below for 8k XP. And I just feel like doing that because <laughs> I need to do it eventually anyway. Of course, mining is probably not efficient, but I need a little break and that's pretty AFK and I just plan on doing it. So also what I need to do is I'm not going to be mining the Essence in Varrock because that's just way too slow. So I need to get to 66 magic to get access to the magic guild in Yanil, which I need to do once again anyway, because that'll help me buy uh, nature runes, law runes, stuff like that. So the way I plan to do that is actually superheating gold ore, and to do that I need goldsmithing gauntlets. So what we're going to be doing right now is the quest family crest, which I do have all the requirements for now, so I can get the goldsmith gauntlets. Um, you do need to go into the wilderness to kill a boss on that, but I'll be pretty careful with it. Um, shouldn't really be that big a deal. So I'm actually going to be doing that quest right now because I want to do it before I upload this video because I feel if I upload this video and then do it, I'll have a bunch of people sitting in worlds just waiting for me to try to kill me. I mean, obviously that might not happen, but you never know. So we're going to do family quest now. I'll see you guys back when I'm killing that demon. I'm just going to get the best food I can and bring it with me into the wilderness and be prepared to teleport. All right, guys, let's get this spooky shit over with. Oh, I fucking hate doing Oh, no, dude. All right, there he's dead. Let's get this piece and get the fuck out of here. So there's Family Crest done. I'm going to go ahead and get the Goldsmith Gauntlets now and then start buying some gold ore so we can get to 66 magic. So I got my Goldsmith Gauntlets. Now I need to buy the gold ore to get my levels up. Um, I did the math on it and I need around 5k gold ore, which is going to cost probably about 2.5 mil with the runes and buying the gold ore. It's not really that big a deal since I have so much money. Um, it should get me over 60 smithing as well, so I think it's definitely worth it. Um, probably take me about an hour to buy all the gold ore. I'm just going to be buying two inventories per world. Um, if you guys want to know how much it is buying two inventories per world, it's 344 per gold ore. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. Um, the goals for next video, obviously, get to 66, uh, get that runecrafting quest done, and maybe get to 1,300 total. We'll see how it goes. So hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one, which will probably be tomorrow.